it up, a new Mitchell printer here. I've been asked to go through uh, exercise 6F's questions 8 and 9 about um, stretching these curves, or sorry, sketching these curves of our log functions um, when we're looking at the transformations. Okay, so the first one, 8A, is y is equal to ln x plus 1. Okay, y is equal to ln x plus 1. So I've just got this in the one note for exercise 6F. So if we have 8a, y is equal to ln x, and then we're going to do the plus 1 to it. So that means it's going to transform it up one unit. So this part here tells you that it goes up one unit. If it was plus 1, obviously negative 1 would mean it will go down one unit. So we would have our graph. And then normally for that graph, the a normal logarithmic function would go like this and go through the coordinate that's one up, uh, sorry, one across on our x-axis. However, this graph has all been moved up one place. So that means this whole thing is going to shift up and instead, I'll do it in blue, it's going to be a graph that's, say, looking like, oops, that's probably hard to do. Let me try it again. So it's one unit above what the current one's at. Okay, however it, however it, it, it goes. So it's one unit up above that. So this is what our graph would look like um, now. We could obviously see that there's only going to be one um, intercept at this point, and we could find that when uh, x is uh, what x is when y is equal to zero. Okay, so when y is equal to zero, and then x plus one has to equal to zero. Ln x plus one has to equal to zero, so therefore ln x has to equal to negative one. And if we change this around, e to the power of negative one has to equal to x. So I'll rearrange this so that it's e to the power of negative one, which is the same as one over e. So you should put down this coordinate at this intercept. I'll just get rid of this cool red part here now, and that is, 1 over e, or you could write e to the power of negative 1 for that. The second one moved the, the graph down two units, so that would mean that if we shifted this line down two units, it's going to go about here. Okay, so this wherever it was two up, that's where it's going to go down, and we would have a different intercept for that. Okay, that's what we'll be solving when ln x minus 2 is equal to 0, or ln x equals to 2, so that would be e at e squared. Okay, so I'll just quickly just do a, a quick sketch um, for that. It will be, for b, it's going to be our ln x graph, but instead it's going to go through here at e squared instead which you could show you're working for and solve that. Uh, the next type are our dilations, which you could look at in 3G or 3H in, in those chapters. So this one here, firstly, we just have to realize that they're opposites. So this one here, if you actually have half x, in our ln x, okay? This happens for all, a lot of the functions that we do. Uh, what we get is, here's a picture. Um, this graph, this a, this number in front of it, here's my normal graph. This is y is equal to ln of 1x. I'm oh, sorry, 1x is, I can't get the one spot there. But if the number got larger, so it was like y is equal to 5x, or ln of 5x, 
a larger number, ln of 5x, com compresses the graph. So it's called, you know, it says, they say dilate it, but it compresses the gra graph so it gets it closer to the y axis. So when you're going to half x, it makes it so it's um, actually twice the distance from this y axis. So what we'll get for this, if I then go back to my screen, in C, we have y is equal to ln of half x. That makes it so our graph is twice as far away from the uh, y-axis. So here's my y-axis, here's my x-axis, and it, would, it actually stretches it out like this way. So it's twice as far away from this axis, and that's why we go through it two uh, across instead of one across. Okay, that is the same for we saw it like we see with our trig functions. So if I have a look at my GeoGebra, if I just change this to instead of y is equal, y is equal to sine uh, ax. So here is my, where's my one? So this is your normal sine x. And if you made this number smaller, it starts stretching it out. Okay, starts so stretching it out. If I go back to 1, it's the same. If I made it sine of 2x, it makes it so it compresses it all closer to the, um, to the y-axis. Uh, the next question I, we see is just a third of log x. Okay, that is, again, this is in our chapter 3. Uh, this, if we see a third in front of it, just like any function, uh, where we see, like, you know, 2 times sine x, um, that's going to stretch it vertically. So in this case here, if we see y is equal to 1 third of ln x, it means we're going to get the same kind of graph, uh, it will be the same kind of graph that we, we do. So just say I've got this same kind of graph that way, that we go through it, one, however, the one third is going to stretch it, it will compress it vertically. So that means it's going to go like that by a third. Instead of like normal, it's going to be stretched that way. Okay, if we had y is equal to 2 ln x, it's going to stretch it twice up. Okay, so the graph is bigger. So we have one third, so it's going to be, you know, more like a graph like that. And I might move it there, but you can see that this graph, it would not go up as high as the other graph. So the, a normal LNX graph would go up here three times as high as one that's only one third of that. So you're looking at the height there. The next type is, these are graphs of L, um, LN of negative X. So this one here, LN of negative X, LN of negative X. Okay, we've seen We've tested these for, say, even functions uh, in year 11, when we saw if you have f of x is equal to f of negative x, and it's the same, we saw it was like it had, it had symmetry. Um, I, I just, instead of doing any of the questions, I should just, should just graph y is equal to ln then of negative x is a reflection, this part is a reflection over the y-axis. Reflection over y axis. Okay, so what that graph would mean would mean that if I have my little picture, it's going to be um, this way instead. Well, that's not a very good graph of it. It, it will be a graph like this way instead. Um, so instead of going at 1 across, it's going to be at negative 1 as at as its x intercept. Okay, so this is y is equal to ln of negative x. Okay, so this is the graph that we are going to transform in the next question. Uh, the first one would move this graph down one. I won't do that. Uh, the next one is going to say the negative of this graph. 
okay, the negative of it. And the third one, which um, I won't do, is saying three, just like in this one, this one's three times that graph. Okay, so let's have a look at the pictures and we'll see what we've got. So firstly, where's my, whoops, there. So firstly, if I wanted to do a graph of the first one, it's going to shift it down one. That's going to go down like this and it will go through at a different point here. If I looked at the third question where it was y is equal to three times this graph, remember that's going to stretch it, stretch it vertically. I could show you um, with the picture. That's going to make it so it goes stretch vertically that way. Okay, that would be for C. Um, and the middle question asked us for the negative of this. So I'll draw a new one of that and so we can compare. So if we had B where we have Y is equal to the negative of ln of negative X, that is changing our output sign. So from if you had work, just say you were at positive one up, you would go down to negative one up. Just say this point here was down four, it would change it to positive four as its output. So what this graph would therefore look like is a function that would go through, go up, you go this way instead, whoops, go like that way instead. It will still go through at negative one, um, however, it will um, be just flipped over this axis. Okay, I could draw the both on the same if you want. It would be looking like, you know, it would go like that as as this negative what it does. So um, this part here, whoops, I just rubbed it instead. This part here flips it, reflects over, reflects over the x axis okay i hope that is helpful for uh, the person that asked this question